So this is a video update uh, to one of my previous videos I put out. To be perfectly honest, when I did the How to Bend PVC video, I never expected it to have uh, so much traffic and so much interest. These are what I was making at the time. Um, it's just a very simple uh, little pathway light. Um, it uses these 3-inch RGB modules. Uh, they're about 20 cents a piece out of China. Very inexpensive. Um, and the rest of this is just a regular piece of half inch PVC. So I wanted to show um, how I get these to bend. Uh, this is one that hasn't been painted yet. Um, and I've got most of the end pieces for these already done and wired up. Um, it's nothing more than one of the regular three inch um, dumb RGB modules. So it has three little RGB 50-50 LEDs in it and then the built-in resistors for each one of the colors. So these run on a common positive um, and then a red, green, and blue negative wires. Um, so I just wired those up to a little whip of this uh, pigtail here. This is a 20 gauge high strand wire, uh, just the four conductors. So on this one my black is my positive and my red, blue, and green negatives in this case. So very, very simple. Um, but what I wanted to shoot today was an update of how I am actually bending this piece of pipe. You'll notice if you look at the pipe it's a smooth even diameter all the way around. Um, there's no kinks uh, or bends in it. There's also not any burns or scorch marks on the outside. Um, and the reason for that is the way that I'm, I'm actually doing this bending. Um, there were a lot of comments on the first video that seemed to be coming from uh, contractors or trade professionals saying well this is all fine and great and it works, but uh, I don't have a, an oven or a range on a job site to do this. So I wanted to show another way um, that you can do this, probably with tools you've already got, um, that's very easy and very inexpensive. So I'm going to start out here. Uh, what I've done is I've cut my piece of pipe. Uh, in this case, uh, for these landscape lights, it's a 15-inch long um, piece of half-inch PVC. And then I'm starting with uh, just a wine cork, and I've shaved this down. Um, nothing fancy, Charles Shaw's finest here. Um, but what this is is a little plug, and this does two things. One, it helps us hold the sand in the tube. Two, it keeps the sand at least that far out of the end of the tube because whether you're doing what we're doing with the, the landscape uh, piece coming in here with our little PEX bushing, um, or whether you'd be connecting it up to plumbing on a job site, you want this end to stay true. You, you don't want to uh, adjust that diameter that size. We don't want to bend or warp that. We want to make sure that this still fits in all the regular uh, fittings nice. So by putting this deep plug in that keeps uh, the hot sand out of this end and it prevents this from deforming. So I'm going to go ahead and put the plug in the pipe here. Um, like I said again, nothing fancy. On the other end I'm going to go ahead and put in my uh, little funnel. Um, again, this is a regular plastic funnel. I think that you get a three pack of these for two or three dollars at Walmart. So I'm going to put that in so it's nice and tight and then set it aside. Now I'm using welding gloves um, because the stand does get very hot and even when it's in the pipe, the pipe can get very hot. What I've done uh, in this case is I've measured out ahead of time enough sand just to fill up and if I look down in the end of the pipe there, I'm only filling it about that far. I only need sand in the part of the pipe that I want to bend. This lower end of the uh, pipe I want to stay straight, and this part of the pipe I want to stay straight. So I'm only measuring out just enough sand for the area that I actually want to heat and bend. Um, so you go ahead and dump that out. You can see it's really not a lot. Um, and you don't want to use more sand than you need. Uh, it's just going to take more time to heat up and, and probably heat unevenly. So now I'm going to use, um, this is just a regular propane torch. Um, the same thing that you use for sweating copper pipe on uh, uh, soldering. So I'm just going to take that propane torch and just go back and forth over the sand here. Again, you can see nothing too fancy. Um, any of this DIY stuff, I'm, I'm a big proponent of the KISS method and just keeping it simple. Um, you can see the gas coming out, it's kind of blowing my sand all over the place, but I just kind of want to keep it keep it all together here and just keep going back on forth over it with the fire. Um, 
I started with pretty dry sand. This is just sand I robbed out of my my toddler's um, sandbox. So it doesn't have to be anything too complicated. Um, I've had some questions of, you know, would dirt work? Would How important is it? I don't know that it's really that important what it is. This is, is just pretty basic. Again, I've got my glove here, so if any of uh, the sand spills out or hits me, it's not going to burn me. I'm going to dump that in. And if we got that hot enough, and sometimes I found I got to do this twice. Um, the first one kind of preheats the pipe um, and, and does a majority of the work. And then when I put the, the second round in, it, it goes really nice and smooth. So we'll see if we got this on the first one or if we've got to do it a second one. Because as soon as we pour that sand in, of course, we don't have a flame on it. Um, the heat's being transferred to the plastic, but the sand is cooling uh, while it's in there. So we'll see. I don't know if this is quite going to get... It's getting pretty warm already. So I'm going to lay this one down because that's kind of what I'm trying to match. That's my model. You know, I think I'm going to go for just one more round just to try it. The pipe is nice and warm here, but I think I've lost enough heat that it's, it's not going to get super hot and bend really nice and easy. And that's what I want to show you guys. So. We'll go ahead and we'll give that a shot. So now you can see this is really starting to get very, very soft. Um, it ends up about the consistency of a garden hose. It gets uh, really nice and flexible. I'm not going to move this too much because I don't want to distort it or, or bend it or kink it. But you can see um, it's soft to the touch. It's very pliable, malleable. So what I can do now is I'm going to lay this right here next to or other pipe and really once it's soft enough um, as soon as we get the sand out of the inside it'll start cooling so what I'm gonna do is get this kinda lined up where I want it and then I'm actually gonna come over here and just dump out the sand um, that way we've now removed all that thermal mass from the inside um, we don't have any more heat, just the heat that's already been transferred to the pipe. Um, and we can start cooling that down. Okay. Let's see, I'm actually going to move this inside, see if I can get a little tighter, tighter bend on it. You do want to be careful at this point because there's no sand holding the shape on the inside any longer. Um, if you've got the time and, and the patience and everything else uh, to just let it sit and cool, the sand will hold that perfect 
round uh, shape on the inside. I'm trying to rush this a little bit just so I can can show you on the video just how quick and easy this is. Um, so we hold that against our form, and I'm using one that I already bent. You know, you could fab up uh, a couple little two by fours or something. I've seen um, uh, a couple ideas where somebody started with a piece of um, three quarter inch plywood and used a, a router jig to actually put a, a half round um, in it. So you can see now we're just kind of starting to to solidify again. It's getting hard. So I can pull my plug now. Make sure I get all my sand shook out. And we now have a nice easy bend in a piece of PVC. Um, we didn't have to use a heat gun. I don't have any bubbling. I don't have any burn marks, scorch marks, nothing on the outside. Um, there might be a few pieces of sand yeah, hook down here stuck to the inside of the pipe. Um, quick little spray of water and, and most of those will wash right out and let go. Um, so that's it. That is my quick and easy way to bend a piece of PVC. Um, again, this can, can be used for building or constructing things out of PVC. Um, we can also use it for our little landscape light project here. Let's see, we'll put our two pieces together and away we go.